Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. And welcome back to Conifer Slopes. Hasn't been two years. It's merely been a month. <laughs> and uh, we're back at it. I've been a bit of a hiatus. Uh, that tends to be the case, but I have been picking at it here and there, uh, and, you know, I've realized, you're gonna see in this episode, structures take longer than rides, uh, as we see our brand new hyper coaster and our log flume, or our log flume, nope, our river rapids ride, working together here. Ah, such a cool sight. Uh, this view won't stay the same, we're gonna be adding foliage and stuff today, but before we tackle anything with the rides, we're gonna be looking at a bunch of structures. Uh, you're going to see, we're going to start this episode with a bit of work I did on a live stream. And I know I haven't been live streaming the last few weeks. It's been just, you know, um, just haven't had uh, the time and really the, the desire to sit down and, and, and do a live stream. I'll, I'll do them. If I were to do them, they will continue to be on Sundays uh, around 1 o'clock. So if I do them, you can expect them to be uh, at that time. But anyway, let's take a look at what we got done in the last live stream. <laughs> it doesn't look like a lot, but this took an hour and a half on a live stream. <laughs> so this this took a little while to get. Um, this took a little while, <laughs> uh, but because it's all custom, none of this stuff. I think the doorway might be. Yeah, this is an in-game doorway that I've covered with spooky planks, and all of this is spooky planks. Yeah, see. In-game doorway, but I've extended it just a bit with spooky planks. Um, these custom structures take forever, and especially when you're building a custom structure, looking at an image. Uh, I can't help but try to get as close as possible, and so with all that, this has taken me a while. Uh, but now that the scale is correct, or at least correct the way I want it to be, it, it should go faster. Um, it, it should be easier to complete. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of copying this, flipping it over, and there's going to be little outcroppings on either side. Uh, if you would like to see a reference image of the, uh, of the, uh, of the structure, it's, it's actually sitting in the top left corner of the entire live stream that I did a few weeks ago, so you can check that out, and you can see what it's supposed to look like. Uh, or you can just watch till the end of the video, or, and, and, and then you'll see what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> anyway, yeah, n I wish I had more to show. But yeah, if you watch the live stream, then you know how this came to be. Uh, not going to spend any more time talking about it. Let's see what it becomes. Ta-da! <laughs> it's done. I, I got in a groove, and I just knocked it all out in a single play session kind of hit my stride, and that's actually what a lot of the updates in this video are going to be. I only saved at the end of a playthrough, and I really didn't sit down, I didn't, I didn't play unless I knew I was going to have a good chunk of time. So these updates might be a bit more chunky from here on out. But yeah, here is our Wild West Depot, uh, complete with a sign that says Deep Depot. <laughs> But yeah, I threw this luggage thing in here, loving that. I, these little details, I think, really, really help. And it feels theme parky. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm really loving it. I am not loving the queue. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I hate the train queues in this game. It just, they don't feel right. I don't know, maybe it's me, maybe I don't know. Maybe I haven't been to enough theme parks with trains. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, another thing that is absolutely killing me is this side. I hate that we have to have this. I would love the option that if both train, uh, both entrance and exit are on one side of the platform that this wasn't even here, that would make my life a lot easier because I wouldn't have to cover it up. Alas, I'm going to have to cover it up. But you can see from this angle what it looks like. Oh, perfect timing. The train visa coming in. So you can see I've covered up the uh, little gate with the, the barrels. That's a standard, you know, standard protocol. <laughs> it's pretty standard uh, behavior. Here comes the choo-choo train. I think it looks spectacular. And I think it fits this station so very well as it rolls in. You can see down here we've added some waiting. So theoretically you could come in and just wait down here for the train if you wanted. We did have to dress up the control booth back here. And yes, we do have some TMTK roofs. 
I am starting to use more and more Theme Maker's Toolkit pieces. I believe these, this might be, or it's Adventure, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, you've got, you know, I like the chicken wire as kind of the, the, the glass here. I like that look a lot. And you can see all the way down. I don't know. I think it looks good. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a dinky little train station, but I wanted to be as faithful to the original as I could. And I think I got pretty darn close, pretty darn close. And it just, it just sits so nicely. So this is now there. It's not moving. The train station is here. Uh, we are not moving the train station. Uh, it's a, it's in a good spot. It's in a good spot, at least for everything that comes after it. Uh, still fiddling around with this here. Uh, we're gonna have to tackle that. And so now we've gotta start getting some structures in. Uh, by building this train station, it has kind of established this wild, dusty, wild west vibe. You know, that traditional wild west gold mining town kind of vibe. So that's what we're gonna be inspired by. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a whole bunch of different buildings, that traditional, basically the pieces that the game gave us uh, to make that style of Western theme. Of course, I'm going to try to do it a little bit better than the game pieces would allow us with some tips, with some tricks that I've uh, accrued <laughs> over the numerous years of playing this game. What, five years? <clears throat> five years now playing this game? But yeah, next we're going to start working, I think, on a saloon. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It, it's, it's fun to see areas come together, even when they're big and open and sparse, and you're not quite sure how you're going to tie it all together. Inevitably, it gets done. So onward we go. Let's see what's next. <laughs> And here we have the Dusty Spoon Saloon. The Dusty Spoon Saloon goes all the way back to the original Conifer Slopes from 2007. Uh, just thought that was a fun little name, and it is making a return. Granted, it doesn't look anything like it used to. It actually now looks like a saloon. Again, trusty Google search to find a style that I was uh, that I liked found this one and yeah i think this screams wild west saloon to me i really like the inclusion of the prickly pear cactus here one of the things while i was on my vacation in colorado uh it was you know lots of conifer lodgepole pine but also cactuses on one of our hikes i mean it is a dry scrub area so maybe that's where conifer slopes is located it's located in a scrubby <clears throat> coniferous forest area you know but again we do have enough to sit i don't know Let, let's not think about it too hard just let, let's just enjoy this building because i'm really happy with it I, I i enjoy the way it came out i think it looks pretty good i think it looks uh close enough to the uh inspiration I like the little staircase here that's kind of fun uh, i have an idea don't worry this horse isn't staying here it was just for a picture uh, i'm thinking about making a patio area oh i'm also not sure if this is going to be staying here <clears throat> i might be moving this i just wanted to put it close enough <clears throat> to the depot again for a picture for a photo op <laughs> so i'm not sure where we're going to be putting it uh but yeah i i don't know i'm I, I, I wish I had more to say other than I think this looks pretty good. <laughs> it's a pretty easy building. The, the weird thing is the, you know, the octagonal shape. But I believe it's just one. Yeah, it's just one building, uh, one wall piece. Yeah, it's just a four, a standard wall uh, piece. Um, that's it. And, and then the others are two across. Uh, pretty sure. Yeah, two across. I mean, it's a really simple shape. The thing that makes it interesting is it's an octagon. And once I had one, I, I did this, uh, you know, piece. Uh, I just I just made templates. So I made my octagon piece, and then I copied it, and I made it like this, and I copied it three times. You will see that it's a, you know, the building is multiple structures. It's really the only way to do these kinds of uh, buildings. But as long as you line it all up, it comes together pretty easily. Uh, also went ahead and... Uh, Made some custom cornice here just so that it could be the same all the way around and line up well. Lining up cornice on an angle is always a, at corners is always a pain in the rump. Uh, but the spooky railing here has a nice western flair to it. It might be a little chonk, but I like it better than a. I like I like the time commitment better than having to make a custom one. 
But this is all just standard in-game pieces, I think. I don't think there's any custom content in this. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's just you got to use the pieces the right way. And as long as you nail the scale, like you'll notice this person, this feels about right, like a standard two-story building. Uh, I, I think the size is good enough. Uh, oh, I'm also missing some corners here. You also see the building isn't complete. Like, it, 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 we need to finish it up. <laughs> and you can see the stairs aren't finished here. Uh, I gotta do the stairs. This would not actually be able to be accessed. We're gonna put a barrier here. It's decorative. There's nothing up there. Uh, somebody had a great idea uh, about, like, having a show. So I thought maybe they have an actor out here and someone comes out of these doors and there's like a Wild West shootout at high noon or something. I thought that might be kind of a fun little thing to imply. We can maybe do some stuff with some animatronics or something just to imply that show idea. Put a billboard somewhere that says show times. Um, yeah, it's, it's coming along. Uh, need to finish it up and put some signage on it. Extra signage always makes things look better. So let's jump ahead and uh, finish up the saloon. So you can see not a lot has changed here, just some added details. And I think that really helps make the whole thing uh, feel more established. We've cut some signs, what we're selling, some cold beer, some smoked meat, some baked taters, and some root beer. Also got ourselves some live music. So come on down to the Dusty Spoon Saloon where we're happy to serve you. And I figured this would be a counter, like you'd walk in through this way up to the counter, There'd be seating over here, so this is probably going to be an exit. All right, I like that. I'm still liking the idea of having uh, some seating area down here. Not quite sure what it's going to look like yet. And you'll see it's moved a little bit. Uh, just, just playing around. Still, this might not be its final resting place. But you can see, threw in some clutter and stuff. I like, I, you know, clutter makes the world go round, doesn't it? Uh, rope. Rope is always good. When in doubt, put rope in a western area. I don't know. Seems to make sense to me. But yeah, once we know where it's at, we can go ahead and detail it up to the nines. And I think a lot of that with a seating area will help. You know, I just picture some, like a nice little like planter area to signify the seating area with, uh, you know, just I, umbrellas and stuff. Just bring it to life. So, but we're going to call this done and we slapped on a simple roof. Maybe we'll add some like vents and stuff. Supported the sign a little bit better. Rounded the sign off a little bit better. Just made it look better <laughs> just everything's better uh also started something new uh started the gift shop proper we need to get this going um i've decided that this is not going to work it's such a bad idea to have a crossing here and here so we're gonna reroute the train and reposition this uh and i was thinking of calling this the coaster outlaws hideout non-stolen i don't know i think it's cute i like to have fun with my signs i like my signs to be funny or puns or so this is the high and i also love that this is sheriff star and this is the outlaws hideout i don't know i think it's kind of funny but i don't like it the word outlaws the way outlaws hideout kind of rolls off the tongue i don't like it so we're going to change it to bandits hideout which means that we can uh, steal some things from no name landia <laughs> Because I am, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm definitely not above uh, reusing things. If you know me, you know I like to reuse things. But you can see I'm echoing the color of the coaster in some of the details. Like the green star is the same as the supports. We have this orangey trim here, which matches the coaster. Uh, it's not in your face, but hopefully it's yeah, hopefully it's subtle enough that it's, yeah. Oh, okay, I see. And we're working a bit on an interior. Have some lighting. Love these TMTK fans. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a little interior uh, to, to go with this uh, shop. I, I'm, I'm not going to be doing an interior at the saloon. Oh, here comes the cat. Lovely. So, I'm gonna go take care of the cat because she's meowing at me. And then uh, we'll, we'll see what's next in store for this little area. Oh, um, dang, there's a lot done. I'm really shocked I got this much done in between um, little updates here, but let's take a tour of the new changes. You can see we've rerouted the exit right through there into the gift shop. We've moved the gift shop to better line up and to give the train some room. Is it a close? Yeah. Is it too close? Yeah, probably. Am I gonna change it? Nope. 
Like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. Got the Bandit IPA sign from No Name Landia. I mean, come on. That is an OG Mass Bandit creation. That is so old. It's so ratty, but I love it. Sunk some trees down. Figured they would plant some of these to try and, you know, block the train just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, now you get this beautiful view of the uh, brake run <laughs> before stepping into bandits. Oh, we've got to fix the uh, ooh, we got to fix the floor in here. Got to raise the whole thing up just a little bit. Uh, it is a non-functioning interior, but I did have some. Um, I think it's M Stankow's uh, M Stankow. Um, um, gift shop items i do love these uh, i have a lot of tmtk gift shop items but i just i they're they're all you know individual kind of a pain to use sometimes so but yeah i don't know i really like this i, I think it, it it goes well i like that there's the bandit ipa in the back uh yeah uh, we've got now this whole entrance plaza and this feels very steel vengeance mean streaky which is kind of the whole reason this exists uh, these these supports don't worry they they don't look good I will be I will be doing some custom lift supports at some point they're not my favorite thing to do so they're gonna I'm gonna wait till the end to do them so but yeah we've got a locker building here now we've closed off this area of the park so that you can't get back there we've got this lovely sign made by wings and strings this is bandit from no name landia <clears throat> it's our uh, GCI coaster but I had to steal the sign. It's just too good. So our coaster is also named Bandit. And it ties it back in with Bandit IPA and our Bandit shop. It's a Bandit-tastic kind of area here. And I am very happy. TMTK rail crossings, I they are triggerable. And that's hard to say. But I think I'm going to leave them like this. Just to give the idea of them more than to actually make them function so uh, is the train coming through again yeah here it comes perfect timing i don't know i think that's pretty good i i kind of enjoy that quite a bit so we don't have a queue yet um i'm gonna i mean i think i know what i'm gonna do with it but we don't have it quite operational yet still don't know where this is going um and i'm starting to think about the rapids now uh, what we're gonna do with that so I think we got one more update to do but I just I am I am I am pleased this feels good this feels like a like a like a real little entrance area to a coaster I love that you pop right out you can get right back in line I just this feels accurate we still need to put some benches and stuff around did put a couple lights in just for giggles yeah I, I think I think it's good. You get this nice, it is pretty cool because as you're sitting here, you get the helix and the, yeah, you see all the people just finishing their ride. I don't know, kind of uh, Maverick-y in that regard. Like as you're entering the queue to Maverick, you're watching people finish the ride. I don't know. These, these are all things that I'm, sometimes, sometimes are in my head as I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, we have one more update to go. And so let's hop to it and see where we're gonna leave the park today. All right, so a couple things in here to show you. Uh, first, a bit more foliage and just feeling a little bit more put together. Uh, but we added a, you know, uh, warning sign for the high intensity thrill ride and also a seat, uh, a test chair uh, from, this, from the workshop, TMTK. Uh, super awesome. I think it's Hydro made this, uh, Bro Nation member. And oh, look at that, like that's so fun. I don't know, I love that. So we've added a, uh, <clears throat> a don't die fence and some shrubs, some plantings that are clearly after the coaster's been built. Um, trying to show like that a bit in this area, like what was planted versus what was left to, what, what they were able to keep. Like clearly they kept this Ponderosa, but they planted all this stuff here. Oh, aloe vera off the workshop, come on, that's pretty cool. Trying to get some more scrubby stuff. Um, but there's more to show than just this area. I, I want you to come and take a swing over Mjaw to our Rapids ride. I've done some work in the Rapids ride. I've decided to go with these red rocks. I really like them. And it kind of gives, it, it, it adds to that arid vibe. Uh, I'm going to say that these are artificial. But what I'm most proud of is look at this nice path down. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this looks. Because uh, I was a little concerned how we were going to get down here. 
But uh, what I did is I did the same trick I do in Planet Zoo. Mike Sheets does this all the time. You'll notice, where is it? Over here, there is a, um, I think it's an uh, antique car ride track. And what I do is I, I, I draw the path that I want to make, and then I use the terrain to match it so that I get a nice smooth terrain. And then I just put the paths out around, and then I use a, a, ter a texture to paint where the car go, where the, the track went. And then I just uh, put the path in, and you get this nice, smooth, realistic uh, angle here, this descent. I think it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm liking these red rocks quite a bit, and I love, I, I threw this ride in. This is uh, going to be called Tornado, I think, or Twister, or Cyclone, or something like that. But yeah, and, and you're going to get nice views of it as you're here waiting. And it's the fake out. You think you just got to go down and around, but actually there's going to be some queueage down here. And we're going to really play with this red rock idea. So let me show you up here. So I've started throwing in the red rocks. I wanted to get this waterfall done. I wasn't sure quite how to do it. Um, so I kind of just made it like there's just some really powerful jet, some really powerful uh, water valves up there. But yeah, we've got this nice waterfall now people going to get wet that's what i like so if i'm on a water ride i want to get wet so there's lots of places where you're sure to get wet so uh, this trough drop thing gave me an opportunity to put some rocks closer in the water i'm trying to keep the bumper um the, the edge of the trough as visible as possible but throwing some little jets in here i don't know just little places where you could get surprised by water i really really like the way it's coming um and then we once again get into the heavier rocks, more like a cliff. So that's what it's going to look like throughout, hopefully. Hopefully that's what it's going to look like throughout. And I do like it. Um, this is, again, similar to what I had in the last iteration in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Um, some very rocky areas, canyon type thing with the coaster. And perfect timing as the coaster comes flying by. I mean, I don't know. That's pretty cool. I'm I'm very 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 pleased. I think I think we're going places. So now there's going to just be an absolute butt ton of rock work. That's never fun. That's pretty tedious, but I think it's going to be totally worth it. So I hope you agree. I hope you like the direction it's going. Um, ideas for what we can do with the station, theme wise. Any any idea? what we could do for that any sort of story for this little rapids ride i don't know i thought about doing geysers like hot springs maybe i might still do that like turn some areas into like more hot springs looking things like you know geysers and stuff we'll see i don't know but um i know it's been a long time since the last episode it's been about a month but i don't know that feels a lot more put together uh this ride's probably gonna stay here um, I want to do a drop ride themed to an, a, a dusty mine or something. And I do think I want to do that dark ride. The ghost, the ghost, cowboy, mash him up, shoot him up dark ride. I think that'd be pretty fun. But now hopefully you get a better idea of where this area is headed. I think we're going to have a path come around this way and maybe another little loop that way. I don't know. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it, and hopefully you are pleased with it as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button, you know, YouTube algorithm, etc., etc., etc. And I guess with all that being said, uh, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever, and I will see everyone for the next episode of Conifer Slopes. Take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye